Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Modular Eagles the Ottoman Campaign And we are back after a brief like hiatus there because I had to like deal with some stuff and you know deal with some more stuff Uh really not that important so I'm just going to like do this immediately uh how do I do this There we go right you guys go reinforce them And yeah we are back here with our winning, and I repeat, winning campaign against the Austrian threat. And, um, a lot of you guys, I don't know, a lot of you guys seem to be enjoying this Let's Play a lot more than my Russian campaign. I don't know why. The Four of the Tsar is pretty awesome. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm enjoying this Let's Play too. I mean, I'm not going to stop anything, but I'm just going to, yeah. And we have a big gigantic force coming towards us. I actually wasn't expecting that to show up. I was just combining my forces so that, you know, just in case something else would happen. But this is about the same thing. Um, we're going to try to do a quick attack on this little tiny army right here while they're uh, moving away. Yes! Ha ha! Bye bye little tiny army. Alright. And with this 40k, we're going to go try... Oh, I know exactly where they're moving. Alright, with this 40k, we're gonna go try to go save our men from being completely annihilated. I'm not sure we'll be able to do it. So, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my troops over here to split. And no, and a lot of you guys, or maybe not one of you guys, I haven't really been checking the comments, were wondering why am I not attacking, or why am I not joining the French coalition? Uh, I'll tell you why. Because I realized how pointless coalitions really are. I mean, I thought they, I thought my, you know, friends were going to do something, you know, when I, like, say, Hey, you know, I need some help trying to fight these, like, Ottoman troops. But no, they just don't do anything. I mean, literally, they do nothing. I could try to, like, get them in my war. It does not help. They just do nothing. And it just annoys me to, like, know that, you know, I paid... You know, I paid good money, or not really good money. I just, I paid to be in this alliance, and yet I'm not getting any respect I deserve. Alright? And that's my main problem with it. And there we go. We just defeated another stupid army, and somebody's calling me. I don't really care. Alright? And we got him on the run again. Let's start, let's this time, let's chase him a little bit. Let's make him feel some pressure. I did. Alright, well then, let's split our troops up. The second army will be... Um, going back and going to go, uh... Basically going to go help, uh, Ezrig become liberated and enhanced by the Ottoman ID. Oh! Shoot. No, wait, that's actually good because they don't have the military to actually defeat us. Alright. So let's go right here, get some good old passing people, sell them back in control. Pasha, uh, who else has really distinguished themselves as a good commander? Um, Pasha's brother, Humash Pasha, um, Ali Pasha, <laughs> all these people have distinguished themselves on the lines of battle. And then, you guys go hunt down the rest of those troops. Hmm. Man. What a war this has been. I mean, from the gecko, from the media gecko we have started this war, it has been one of just constant turbulence and just almost minor annoyance on both the fact that neither side can either can, can ever gain the full advantage over the other now I really should be stopping because I'm at I'm at the point I'm winning now but I feel like I, I, I don't know I feel like I should be crushing these guys for all the times I had to endure so many heartaches with them not declaring peace with me having to being forced to dealing with stupid AI and I mean this was stupid AI and just dealing with all this oh no 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 I did the wrong move hey but it worked out in my favor this time usually when that happens it usually doesn't so one thing I do want to check out though is demand tribute what can I do in terms of releasing nations alright I can release Bavaria I can release Italy um, I can release the Grand Duchy the Grand Duchy um, and I can make Wattenberg. Okay, that is a lame amount of releasing nations. I mean, I would have thought I could create, like, uh... 
well, I don't know, I could create Hungry, you know, that would be kind of a useless, a useful vassal, but, uh, so I basically get nothing out of this war if I really want to, but what I really want out of this war is that, 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 this, uh, this is only a lot of wars, but they would not accept this offer, uh, this, 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 and, yeah, that's basically it. So we have to fight until 59 war score. It shouldn't take that long. We just have to make sure we keep taking over territories. And keep, like, being a pestilence to their, um, ego. Because that's all you really have to do in this game. Really. That's really all you have to do. I'm just going to see if I can... Nope, he's not going to take the bait. Alright, then what I'll do is I'll split this army into half. Half of the soldiers go right here, and half the soldiers go right here. We're going to do a uh, classic run-of-the-mill tactic, and yes, it worked. We have- Oh, ooh, ooh. Yes, but it still worked. Ha ha. Ha. Charge. Start charging the armies down there. Start charging the armies down the line. And we are, again, as I always say, slowly but surely beating them back. Okay, now let me assault these guys right here. Gain another territory for the Empire. Move up the pest. Oh, the pest. This is this is just becoming just so great, seriously. Alright, move them. Kill all the soldiers in that place. And now we'll just hold... You know what, wait. You know what we'll do first is we'll kill pest. And once pest is gone or under our control, then we'll go back to often and start, like... March of the Sound... Oh! Ooh! Ew. Well, I lost a lot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, did I lose? Yep. I should have seen that one coming. You should never, repeat, never attack when there are enemy troops nearby. Because for some reason, okay. Watchina, can you give me militaristic control over you guys? No. Can I request extended first of your, uh, second army? Huh? Oh, I guess I got control of the second army. Alright, well, let's go combine them with this army right over here to reinforce these flanks. <clears throat> I don't know. We have to reinforce these guys at some point. But these guys have to heal up a little bit after their quick encounters with the devil. <laughs> the troops of evil. Okay. Now, go prove me wrong, Selim. You have been a, a phenomenal guy so far. You have proven a lot of people wrong about your ability to lead and to attack. Make sure this 8,000 troops do not beat you up. Seriously. Make sure of it. Thank you. You have sufficiently gained some respect in my mind. Alright, and we will not do what I did last time, which was six... Which was, um, seed attack, basically, while they are, uh, right next to us. Alright, and we can either replace him. You know what, he's probably not going to do anything. And I don't feel like dealing with the revolt right now. We really honestly could not deal with the revolt right now because we are basically going to, to not good places. And how is our revolt risk? It is still terrible. Well, you know, if I had more time and more money, I probably could have reversed that. But right now, we're just fighting for our survival. Or we're fighting right now just to prove one a point. And attack. Yes, it is. Ha! Took that place without you knowing. Okay, and we better... We, no, we don't want to attack while there's Waterloo. Uh, Waterloo would be a very bad idea right now. Um, the Caesar Keswick is over. Victory! Woohoo! Ah, finally! And we can now start moving into other places. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh. I, I don't think they're going to win in time. Can I retreat? Yes, I can. Whew. Good thing I can retreat, otherwise that would have been a very bad siege right there. Um, just keep your army steady, we don't... Right now, it's, we're in a very bad position up there in Pest. Because they have the utmost and crucial advantage. The problem is though, is that I'm slowly but surely crushing all resistance over here in the, in the countryside. I mean, we are slowly, I mean, very very slowly just beating them up. They don't have as much as they used to. At the same point, though, we don't 
we don't either. So it's like, who do we, who do, <laughs> who's gonna die first, me or them? All right, now, all right, now that this entire like area is done, and yes, oh wait, I thought that was, thought that was done. All right, so they slowly, they're slowly attacking there. That isn't good. Um, hmm. Let's see. How's my war score with them right now? 19. Dang. I'm, I'm really going to have to ramp it up with these guys to completely, like, get the war score I need to get what I want. But, eh. C'est la vie. I don't know. Today has been just a random day of just random events happening of random things, which I don't think you guys really particularly want to hear about. So, meh. I'm just going to do this gonna crush their entire navy up here destroy whatever remnants of the navy was right there uh, move the free worm uh, kill their navy and then what I'll most likely do is I'll head back over there to uh, the over here because I really don't want them to gain any more ground if they gain any more ground we're just gonna this, this is gonna annoy me throughout the rest of the time all right, now go over here and go deal with them. You guys, okay, these guys have low morale. Quickly go crush them. Ooh, I'm out, I don't think I'll make it. Well, I'll hit one. <laughs> I'll hit the little tiny army. All right. Well, that was a victory in its in itself, I guess. All right, and you guys, I don't know where they're moving, but they're obviously going on a campaign. So I'm gonna try to stop them. Because I am the bad guy, I guess, in this game. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Ooh, okay, crush him before... Yes, crush him before the other 41k gets there. Alright. And you guys go ahead to wing. Um, actually... Hmm, you know what? We should probably crush that army before it gets to any, like, colossal... Before it gets any bigger, we should probably crush that army. So I'm gonna have, actually, you guys meet up in Argon both armies and then we're both gonna combine to go crush ooh ooh you guys died happily let me just say that right now you guys died happily I mean you died in the line of service and there's nothing more more crucial than that okay first what we're gonna do is we're gonna hopefully gain some troops from this little village uh, very slowly gain troops all right and then we're gonna go after the big battle um, Selim's not in control, right? Because that'd be very bad. And let me just see, is this our best strike attack? No, we would have a very bad... Um, no one different can take over, though. So, we're going to see. It's, it's all resting in this battle. Ooh. 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 Oh, shoot. We're dead. We're dead. Ooh. Well, Mikami was dealt a very bad punch to the blow. And... Thankfully, they are not pursuing because they're probably just as weak as we are. But the good thing is, we have 12,000 men in reserve, so we can instantly regain all this back. Usually, that doesn't happen. Like, usually, we have to wait, like, 47 months before that happens. But for some reason, we have lots of manpower. And you see? Already. Look at that. Look at that. What? <laughs> uh, the, amount, amount, the amount of lives that have been lost in this battle cannot we, we could seriously not describe it. I've lost almost 11k a hundred thousand K of men I've lost in this war alone I mean this this is seriously like the war that like drank drank both of our souls and how are we doing in terms of of uh, guaranteeing peace eh, about the same all right and now you guys are ready to march again because all of our manpower is gone oh the way the world works and never mind you guys are ready to just Chill back and see if they will attack you. Hmm. Dang. We need to, like, get in a really good defensive position. Um. And, you know, I'm going to choose the best attack. The best. Ooh. This guy right here is our best attacker. We're going to see if he can. Uh. We're going to see if he. Okay. We're going to have to switch him out. Because we need. I'm planning on getting. All of the great of the greatest uh, like forward attackers. I know no normally I like to get Okay, yeah, you guys are good. Okay, you guys are good. You guys are good. Alright. 
I'll see if we can do this season quick. Oh, shoot. Ugh. How did that even happen? They couldn't even do anything. What? Okay, you know what? Finally, I'm I'm done. <laughs> that that was what broke the camel's back right there. It's the fact that they did that. I'm done. Super beats. Uh, I just want one territory. Can they give me that? They will not accept this offer. All right. They will accept this offer. All right. Will you give me lots of dollars? No. They will not accept dollars. They just want their wounded pride gone. Okay. Offer white piece. They will accept this offer. Alright, get a new technology, building cost, alright, fast forward, and it is official, Whew. after 10 long years of fighting and basically nothing happening, we have finally declared peace, and with that we can finally regain all the soldiers that we lost during this inevitable and horrible war. I mean, it will take a couple years to rebuild our strength. It will take a couple years to mount an attack on um, Cynthia to gain this province and just kick their butts. But, in the end, I thought this was a great, a great, I guess, psychological victory. That the Ottomans were supposed to be weak enough to be conquered by any nation. But somehow, with the glorious two leaders of Mekhamed. See, this was my problem. Is I didn't put Mekhamed or I didn't put our Sultan in charge. These two guys, these two guys were the heroes of today. They were the heroes of this war. They deserve the praise, honor, glory, women that you will shower upon them. So, with that, everyone... I just want to say thank you. Thank you guys for watching this. Thank you guys for like cheering the Sultan on doing his inevitable campaign and you know this was a good victory and actually I think just with this episode I'm also going to cut it off because you know this kind of feels right where it ends because I don't know this campaign was kind of built on the fact that we were fighting the Austrians and you know supporting the Sultan during the attacks and you know as much as I would love to play more of this it would kind of be pointless because we couldn't really do much um our army would take about two or three more years to rebuild um the only people that we could attack is the Russians which the Russians have unlimited hordes so it wouldn't be that good uh the Persians I have really no reason to attack the Persians uh, my economy is still bad by the way um Persia, Persia, Dominance. See, I, I I wouldn't even have any reason to attack Persia. So it would be pointless. So the only people I could attack is the uh, Austrians. And the Austrians had just proven that, that they are about the same as we are. And, you know, I, I don't think it'd be very interesting to watch another, like, uh, pointless war. And my king, the Great Britain, has formed a coalition against France. Worrisome. So, with this, everyone, I'm thankful that you guys watched it and sell them what? Is there a series? What? What? Wait, what? Well, with that, apparently. Well, that doesn't make any sense, though, because Selim's still alive. I don't know. See, I'm also kind of quitting this game is because... I don't know. This campaign this campaign has to end, I guess. And this is, feels like the perfect ending for it. So, with that, everyone... I mean, look at this. They already have a 56,000 army already ready for this. But anyways... <sighs> calm down. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me. Liking, subscribing, and... Maybe you guys could comment about what you guys want next. If you don't, you don't. I'm not forcing you to do it. It's not anything I force you to do. It's so that if you really want to comment about your opinions, your own advice, you can. Subscribing seriously does help. And yes, I will see you guys next time. For the last time, everyone.
four. The Sultan is our guide. He is the leader of our nation and we should always remember him and the great General Muhammad as our heroes. Fare thee well, Ottomanas.